Whole Foods Market Incorporation. Hello and welcome friends. Whole Foods Market Incorporation is an American food a supermarket chain based in Austin, Texas. The company has been ranked among the most socially responsible businesses and placed fourth on the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency list of top 25 green power partners. Founder John Mackey currently serves as the CEO of the publicly traded company. 1978, John Mackey and Rana Lawson borrowed dollar forty-five thousand from family and friends to open a small natural food store called Safa Way in Austin, Texas. Two years later, John Mackey partnered with Crack Weller and Mark Skiles to merge Safa Way with their clouds while natural groceries, resulting in the opening of the original Whole Foods market on September 28, 1980. Beginning in 1984, Whole Foods Market began its expansion out of Austin, first to Houston and Dallas and then into New Orleans with the purchase of the Whole Foods Company in 1988. The company's 100th store was opened in Torrance, California in 1999. The 2001 Whole Foods also moved into Manhattan. 2005, Whole Foods opened its 80,000 square foot, 7,400 meter square flagship store in downtown Austin. The company's headquarters moved into office above the store. In response, the company added its 365 everyday value product line and purchased Alec Crow Coffee Company in 1997. As of August 2007, Whole Foods Market plans four stores in the state of Hawaii. Whole Foods Market only sell products that meet its self-created quality standards for being natural, which the stores define as minimally processed foods that are free of hydrogenated fats as well as artificial flavors, colors, sweeteners, preservatives and many others as listed on their online unacceptable food ingredients list. Whole Foods Market has also announced that it does not intend to sell meat or milk from cloned animals or their offspring even though the US Food and Drug Administration FDA has ruled them safe to eat regional and store I think a lot of people have been waiting for this store to open, are thrilled to have it open, and it's a beautiful day for, for us to, to open our doors to the community. The store is beautiful. Um, even just from when you come up the escalator to along the living wall and into the store, it's colorful, it's open, um, it, it, it's a large store, um, and it really, I think, captures the essence of Charlotte, which is a southern elegance. If you will. As every store, we try to make it a community store with a community feel. We have a, a traditional bar downstairs where we're going to have four local beers on tap as well as glasses of wine. Then we created a mezzanine level that has uh, an enomatic machine where customers can purchase a card, sample a wine, or buy a full glass of wine. And then we have the wines displayed underneath where they can purchase what they like. We, uh, we have a chili roaster outside, so we're roasting some hatch chilies that we're using in our salsas, our guacamoles. We got the cooking school on the third floor, which we do have in a few of our stores, but that's something that's entirely new to Charlotte. Regional and store buyers are focused on local products and any unique products necessary to ensure a neighborhood market feel in the store. Whole Foods says that the company is committed to buying from local producers that meet its quality standards while also increasingly focusing more of their purchasing on producer and manufacturer direct programs. Some regions have an employee known as a forager whose sole duty is to source local products for each store. In April 2007, Whole Foods Market launched the Hold Trade Guarantee, a purchasing initiative emphasizing ethics and social responsibility concerning products imported from the developing world. The criteria include fair prices for crops, environmentally sound practices, better wages and labor, condition for workers and premium product quality. Whole Foods 
will work with Transfer USA and the Rent Force Alliance to ensure the transparency and integrity of the program. 1% of proceeds from the whole trade certified products will go to the Whole Planet Foundation to support micro loan programs in developing countries. The company's goal is to have at least half of its important products from these countries fully certified within 10 years. Whole Foods placed third on the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's list of the top 25 green power partners. The company also received the EPA Green Power Award 2004 and 2005 and Partner of the Year Award in 2006 and 2007. The company plans on purchasing 458 gigawatt hours of wind energy credit. This will keep about 700 million pounds, 3 lakhs metric tons of carbon dioxide emission out of the atmosphere. This is equivalent to taking 60,000 cars off the road or planting 90,000 acre 360 km square of trees. Whole Foods has frequently been the subject of resistance or boycott in response to proposed store location. The corporation has also been criticized for its aggressive policy of promoting its own in-house brand, example 365, at the expense of smaller and or local independent ones. Whole Foods CEO John Mackey's editorials on August 11, 2009 in the Wall Street Journal criticizing the Patent Protection and Affordable Care Act produced a storm of controversy. Stay happy and have a nice day.